Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a, a spoon, a basic spoon. And for that, we need a sphere. So let's delete this cube. So hit delete on your keyboard, press, uh, click it on your mouse, and let's go up to add mesh sphere. Okay. So with the sphere, uh, just like the bowl, we need to cut off the top, and then we will start to shape it. So go to your front view, hitting one on the keypad. You can go into uh, wireframe mode Z on the keypad and pad, and I'm going or on the keyboard, and I'm going to deselect everything by pressing A. And I'll press B to get my border select tool. Now this I want to come down a little further. I don't want it to be just halfway. Oh, what happened there? Oh, I'm still in object mode. Let's go to edit mode. So hit tab. Now I don't uh, I don't want to select just half of it because that's a really deep spoon. So I'm going to come down a little further. So I'm going to bring this up a little ways. Get my border select B and then I will select it about right there. Maybe one further, but I can maybe I, I can uh, scale it a little bit and s squash it later. Delete and delete faces. Okay, now I've got a nice little bowl. I'm going to use that for my the bottom of my spoon. So if I select everything and scale, get the scale tool, I can squash it down, make it not so deep. That's pretty good. Now it's just a round dish there, and it's kind of like a sugar spoon. We don't want that. We want a regular spoon. So I'm going to squash it this way, and that's a little too much. Just shape it kind of like any spoon. Of course, you could look up online what a spoon looks like to get some ideas if uh, you can't think of it. Because sometimes it's nice to see, you know, we don't always catch all the details by just thinking it, thinking about it, even though we see one every day. Okay, we've got our little shape here, our basic shape for the spoon. Now I'm going to extrude to give it some thickness. So the extrude, we need to be really careful. Now I need to extrude region and not individual. If I selected faces and I do individual, it's going to get all crazy like that. And that's not what I want. So extrude region. Now also I can use uh, the keyboard shortcut, which is E, to do it. And that, does, that automatically does region. And I think I'll do that. Um, now you need to be really careful when you're extruding because as soon as I move it, it gives it a little thickness. But I want it to stay about the same spot. So let me try it again. If I just hit E and don't move my mouse and just click, I've extruded it. Okay, And don't do it more than once. We run into problems if we extrude more than once. And so just extrude once. If you didn't do it right, do Control Z and extrude just once the E on the keyboard or extrude region. Don't move the mouse, just click it as soon as you extrude. Now um, I've got half of it selected already so I don't deselect anything. I'll just go uh, make sure your scale tool is selected and or, well let's see, let's not do the tool. If we hold our mouse up here and click S then it scales nicely for us. So I'm gonna come in just a little bit give it the spoon some thickness and there we go now the next step is to extrude the handle okay we need a handle of course so I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to select four of these squares or polygons or faces and if I get my face select right here if I right click on it it selects one if I hold down shift and click, right click, it selects multiple ones. Okay, I can select any that I want while holding down shift. I can deselect while holding down shift. So get four of them and then I can move out and I'm going to extrude again with the E. So E on the keyboard and extrude. Now it extrudes the same angle as the face where the face was and so it's extruding at a weird angle but I can change that. If my I'm extruding on the Y axis, that's the green one. If You might be on X, but I'm on Y, so I'm going to hit Y on the keyboard and it extrudes it on that axis. So I'm going to come out to where I think it's a uh, good proportion. We can always change it later. That's alright. So there's uh, already, it's looking like a basic spoon shape. If I go to object mode it looks a little better, but it's not great. It doesn't, uh, it's not a realistic spoon, so let's do a few more things to it.